So we need to continue in login form to actually log the user in. So how are we going to do this? First of all, we need a query, and this is going to be equal to select, and we need to select the username, username, um, and password from, and that, let's go reference back to our table to see, from users, so we're selecting from users, where, and then we're going to say uh, username is equal to uh, username and password is equal to password. So we've constructed here a query where we're selecting the username and password. In fact, we don't even need to do that. Let's just select the ID. So we're selecting the ID from our users table where the username is equal to Alex in this case and the password is equal to password in this case. Now we've got one problem already. Password is plain text and the password stored in the database is MD5 data. So what we need to do here is we need to say MD5 wrapping around the password which will then automatically convert this to an MD5 value. Um, in fact, no, that's not going to work. I'll tell you why. If the user entered nothing, we're still generating an MD5 hash, so we can get away with not entering a password. So instead of doing that, let's create a new variable, which is probably better, called password hash, and that's going to equal to MD5 of password, so we've created a new variable. Now we can pop this into our query like that. So let's uh, first of all um, execute this query. So query run equals MySQL oh, query query. And uh, let's pop this into an if statement just to check that it works. So if that, then run this block. Otherwise, something. Now, we've actually now predetermined. So if this query um, is fine and it works, then we can, uh, in fact, no, we don't need this else here. If this query works, then we can do something with it. And what we need to do with it is we need to check how many rows have been returned. Now, if zero rows have been returned, um, we have, um, if zero rows have been t returned, a username and a password don't match. So a username and a password combination haven't matched, which means they may have entered the correct username they may have not entered the correct password, or vice versa, they may have created the correct password but not the right username. So we need to create a check in here. First of all, we'll say a query um, num, and that's, or num rows would be better, and that's equal to MySQL num rows um, of our query that we've run. And now we need to perform a check to say if query num rows is equal to zero, no such user exists. Otherwise, do something else. So here we're going to say um, echo um, invalid invalid username password combination. Okay, so we've executed our query. As long as the query is uh, structured properly and it makes sense, we're going to continue with this code here. Then we're creating a value of the number of rows returned. Then we're checking if that equals to zero. If it does equal to zero, it means that the username and password combination don't match. So we echo out a warning to the user and we don't log them in. Otherwise, we need to say, okay, for now, the user's logged in successfully. So let's um, use this as an example. So let's go back to our user's table. Um, we've got Alex and the password, which I think is pass one, yeah, pass one, two, three, but the MD5 hash. Remember, we convert the MD5 hash automatically when we uh, process the login. Um, and then we have various bits of information which aren't important just now. So let's try a user login that's incorrect. So I'm going to type Billy and pass one, two, three. Now, bear in mind that pass one, two, three, one, two, three, um, 
exists in the database but it doesn't exist next to Billy so let's click login we've got invalid username password combination so our SQL query was structured correctly but it returned no rows now otherwise we want to say if query num rows equals one then we can echo OK because we're never going to echo two rows because the username is not going to exist twice. We're not going to have users on our website with the same username. So now let's try this with Alex and pass one, I think I type pass, yep, yeah, pass one, two, three, and click login and it says OK. So now let's return some of the data that we've been processing so we can make sure that we know, well, we, we already know it matches. But let's echo out um, username and we'll echo out um, no, we'll, we'll just echo out the password hash so you can see how this is working so um, once we've logged in correctly um, username and pass123 you'll see that um, this is the hash uh, the password hash of what we've entered which is starts with 322 and ends with a24 so 322 a24 so we know that it's converted the hash properly we know that anyway so um, now that the user's logged in okay and we've displayed this okay message we don't actually want to do this this was just for our purpose what we now want to do is we want to set a session with the user's ID so we've selected the ID from the database but now we need to get this data so I'm gonna say user underscore ID and this is going to equal to MySQL result remember this function from when we learned uh, specifics on uh, using um, databases MySQL result we're taking the result from the query that we run earlier we're going for row 0 and we're looking in the ID column um, so uh, let's just echo out user ID so we know this uh, works properly let's test now with adding another user so we can see if this ID is returned correctly for each user we log in